Hey guys, it's Austin back with another video. It's been a while, so uh, life happens. <laughs> so um, one of my more popular videos was the Rickenbacker 325 Chickenbacker video. So I wanted to um, do another video of that sorts. This is the Chickenbacker I bought around seven years ago. Um, I probably haven't played it in about four years um, because if you can take a look, you see that the action is atrocious on this thing because you can already see that the neck is glued incorrectly. So it's really hard to play. So my mission is to get this guitar back in action. I purchased a PAF humbucker, a Bixby B5 vibrato. And I got the Rickenbacker knobs. And then I'm going to buy some Grover style tuners. And boom, that's the Fogarty version of the 325. And I want to challenge myself to see if I can get it playing again. Because it would be nice to get this thing playing. I mean, of course it's not going to play like a real Rick. But keep in mind, most Ricks that are out there are the Jet Glow C64s. Good luck getting a freaking 1996 Rose Morris for under seven grand. You know why? They're limited. Rickenbacker takes years if you were going to place an order for one. And for $3,500, it's not really in anybody's price range anymore. So, so for all the people out there that um, hate on the Chinese guitars and whatever, it's just like, I understand, but at the same time, it's not really plausible for anybody like me to actually get a real Rickenbacker like the real one anymore. If someone's gonna get a Rickenbacker, it's gonna be the classic C64 Jet Glow, or it's gonna be the 12 strings, or the Maple Glows, or whatever. So since getting a real Rickenbacker like the Rose Morris is so hard, I wanna make it shown that I'm trying to make a Fogarty model. And there's no way of really doing that without breaking the bank and or destroying a Rickenbacker that's already exists out there. And you know, there's so many of the C64s, there's not much left of the real ones. So it's like, why convert a real one for a Fogarty model when you can get just a cheap knockoff guitar and convert it into one for nothing? I feel morally that makes more sense than uh, than routing out a, a, a real Rickenbacker and putting a PAF. I mean, Fogarty did it, he made it a legendary thing, but morally doing it to another guitar doesn't feel right. So it's, for me, it's like no harm, no foul, you know, this thing is not worth anything. I'm not too concerned if this fails. Like, if this doesn't work, if it doesn't play, whatever. I mean, I haven't, play, I haven't been playing it for four years. So, curious to find out where this goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go, guys. That's the Chickenbacher 325 Fogarty model video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I was actually pleasantly surprised how well um, this thing sounds, especially with the, um, the new installed uh, humbucker on there. It's a as you can, it's really really hot compared like the pickup is really hot compared to the rest. <laughs> if you switch to the middle position or the neck position, it's just really really quiet compared to that pickup. So, um, but we'll see how much I uh, play this in the future. But basically, the only thing that I couldn't really get is, like I said before, the action. I don't know. Maybe down the line, because th these are all the this all the saddle's all the way down. So, what I might do in the future, um, it's starting. The finish is starting to crack around here. I might pull the frets off and maybe try to do a neck reset on it and see if that does anything. If not. Um, not much of a big deal. It's playing right now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back with some more videos up in the future. And uh, my another video that I'm going to be doing is about a Rickenbacker. A real one. Yep, a real one that I just bought. So, aloha.